So I get the airplane, I take the airplane, I have the airplane sent down to Panama, and they screwed it up. Because what I was going to do in Panama was loan the airplane to any university that wanted to do any kind of research. So the plane had a cover. They said, no, 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 we can pay off, pay off. They said, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. That's what they did. My pilot flies the plane down there, calls me up and says, they've seized the airplane. I'm going, what for? What the hell did you do? He says, I didn't do anything. He said, I said, well, are they holding you? He said, no, I can go home. You already had his ticket anyway. I said, well, get your ass on the airplane and go home, and I'll take care of it. And I find out that they have told, and the, the Panamanians want part of the money. So they said it was going to be $50,000 to get the plane released. So I go down there with $50,000, flew my own bird in. I get an attache case there, a beautiful attache case. I put 50 in it. I had, still had 10 in my sock. I sit in a little tiny room. And I wait. And I get to see a colonel. And the colonel comes sitting in talking with the colonel. And in walks the door of Manuel Norega. And you might say I almost shit my pants. Because if something happens in Panama to the lieutenant or captain or colonel or major, there's always somebody a little higher that you can go to and pay off and get what you want. You can't go any higher than Manuel. <laughs> so if he comes in and it's going to be a good bust on his part, but it wasn't. He wanted money. That's what he wanted. In other words, the colonel that was doing it hadn't bothered to tell. So he comes in and is ranting and raiding. That's what was really unique is there was three chairs in the office. There's a colonel, me, and two people come in the office. So there's now four people in the three chairs and everybody's standing. And if he'd said he wanted a million dollars, I said, sure, let me go. I'll bring it right back. Yeah, right. And I showed him the suitcase. I said, I'll take care of this. I'll be right back. I got to go. I had my taxi cab driver take me back to the airport and I was <laughs> out of there. And I sent the pilot back with the money to pay to the colonel and I took the airplane out and we never brought it back. But that was my first meeting with Manuel and I got to meet him several other times after that. He was friendly. Scary, but friendly.